Yo, what's up, what's up? Today we just want to talk. We want to talk. We want. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Today we just want to be talking about. You see it in the title. That might be who you are, but it's not who you can be. And what this means basically is, you know, in certain instances, when you might be limiting yourself. So you just say, let me talk to a simple example. Say you was younger, or even now. Your teacher or somebody, your brethren tell you, hey, why are you writing so untidy for by writing neat when you had to do your work now? Something so, so simple. And you'd be like, nah, why well, can't write neat? Nah, 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 I mean, what are you talking about? Well, the thing is, you could write neat, you know, maybe not right now, but all you have to do is practice your handwriting and you can write neat. I don't know if you understand, but I just go through plenty of things in life now. So saying, hey, boy, how you just wake up so early, but I can't do that, you know? I mean, you could. You just take time and you could do many things. What's what other example I could give, boy? Hmm. Yeah, say for example, you like to you like to play football or something, so and you see this man real hell dribbling, boy, and you see him ways, boy. This man gifted. Ah, boy. I can never do that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you could do that. You just had to, you know, you look like him as well. Yeah, so that's what I get into. So I have many people, everybody, I believe, who have these self-limiting beliefs. Just because they think that's who they are and that's like what they have to be forever. But I don't think that's true now, but like you could always change up, you could always, you know, do better. Like if somebody fat the whole life, you'd be like, nah, that's just me, that's how I born and all that's nah that's not true, that's not true one bit. I want to give a good example and go into it. But I think I could roll off it if I talk about um so in atomic habits, the guy was that man named James Clay, yeah, daddy author, yeah. You know, just talking about to change your habits, first need an identity shift. And in getting the identity shift, an example of this would be, say you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes. So if somebody come and offer you a cigarette, you would say, hey, I'm, trying to not, I'm not trying to smoke, but you know, I, I, I know me. But that's not how you're supposed to do it in his, in his theory now, buddy. Because it hurts. If you think you're trying, to, you're trying to quit smoking, you're still thinking in your mind you are a smoker. That's who you are. But if somebody offers you the cigarette and you say, "Nah, man, I don't smoke," then that's different because that's more whole identity shift. Even though it could be like a placebo thing, placebo, yeah, or a fake. It's telling me because at the moment it's more of an identity shift. You're saying you don't smoke, so you're not gonna smoke it. You're not ever gonna do it again. You just you don't smoke. You're not trying to get over anything. So yeah. That is an example of you not thinking where you are right now is where you always have to be or who, who you are right now is not who you always have to be. So yeah, I'm not sure what you all be thinking about that, but yeah man. So if I had to delve into any further and give more examples or talk about me, hmm, what would I have considered myself and where I would always limit myself? Alright, I was always anxious and whatnot if I had to go on. Since that small, from what that time, I go right by the shop right there, or go by the woman right there and buy that from her. I was just say, nah, 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 me won't talk to nobody, you know, I'm not doing that. I had uh, not get the snack or whatnot, not get nothing. Then just to go and say, yo, I want to buy that from you. Yeah, but um, for a long time, I was saying, nah, not me, I'm not doing that just because I can't. Like, for example, time I had a stay in university. We're having sweat, which is football, you know, sweating with the dogs, them. Had to go by um, one of the places there and just get some cones to pop gold posts and thing. And just tell me, yeah, go and ask somebody. And I was like, nah, boy. I can't do that, boy. Anxiety. I mean, I could have gone and do it. I just limit myself. Because I say, hey, that's a, yeah, I don't have to do that, you know. I, was, uh, I really didn't want to go and do it, but I could have gone and do it. So, say, for example, now, as a big man dog, I go in and get my thing. I go and say, yo, hey, woman, pass me them cones, eh? Yeah, so basically that's the whole thing I'm talking about there, yeah, so in the sense of those things, don't just say one thing, you'll say, hey, that's not me, I can't do that, I don't want to sing in front of class or sing in front of people, I good, even though if you, do, you actually don't want to sing in front of people, you don't have to, but just saying, if it's a good vibe, everybody sing karaoke and thing, and you just stop because, hey, I ain't good on that, so just, sometimes you have to be comfortable, being uncomfortable, yeah, yeah, that's a deep thing, that's a deep thing, not really, but yeah, be comfortable, be uncomfortable, just get out of your comfort zone and things are coming, just keep practicing, 
keep working on yourself in that aspect and yeah because why would you always want to be limiting yourself in a box you know you want to grow you want to be like a flower and blossom like a mango tree so yeah that's basically it today well this video it might be who you are right now but it's not who you can be it's not who you will be we all have our life to live you never know when one end up just keep keep doing up this dog oh yeah man so enjoy the rest of it